And we back, and we back, and we back for another video. We we'll back for another video. What's up, my little snitzels? What in the snitzel is going on here? Um, I just woke up. Not too much. I woke up for the best nap ever. I mean, I was uh. out. That, 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 that was me. Um, but as per usual, we're going to read from the sub Reddit. Let me turn this brightness down. Am I the a-hole? And not me, but it's from a sub Reddit. That's legit what it's called. And today's title is Am I the a-hole for my making my girlfriend clean the apartment? Depends. Like, was it her time to clean? Or you just didn't want to clean the apartment and you are an able-bodied grown man that can clean the apartment as well. Anyway, me, 26 male, has a very beautiful and very, you know, but over considerate girlfriend. We have awesome relation between us, and right now we are living together. The only one, the one and only problem is that her sister and her boyfriend, both of them have a, have been co complete and considerate fools. They also have one kid. Whenever we used to go out for any activity, movies, lunch, etc., I. I was end up paying for it because I was making more money, but they never ever tried to return it. So after two to three times, I just stopped going and started making excuses. Recently, me and my girlfriend went on an eight days trip into my misfortune. Her sis and boyfriend were going to move into different places at, on the same day as our vacation. The landlord of the new place told them that the new place had some plumbing and electrical issues, so it would take two to three days to fix. So my sister asked my girlfriend to let her stay at our place. I've been like eight to nine. Almost actually cuz for real. Are you crazy? All the time I've been paying. And I, now, now I see what you're saying, sir. First of all, I ain't shacking. That, that, that's just me. I personally ain't gonna be shacking. And for those who are confused with what shacking is, shacking is living with somebody that's your significant other and y'all are not married. That's what shacking is. To me, I... Uh, now I understand moving in with your significant other because times is hard right now. I did that. Hey, I feel like even God himself will let Shaq and slide this one time because the way these prices going up and the way these folks over here raising up gas and stuff and the way you had to pay for certain stuff is just ridiculous. Oh, I could take this off because peep the new hairstyle. Okay. Feel like Egna right here. I need to get one day. Y'all gonna see me on here with a bob like Egna and I'm gonna just but um, I would put my foot down right then and there. It seems like you should have been put your foot down, but instead of making excuses, you should have told her, hey, babe, so we can be a united front on this. Your family doing too much. They doing too much. And they are not considerate of you. They're not considerate of where we live. I'm not gonna have them stay over here. This is ridiculous. And you should have said, I'm not gonna be paying for everything because they're grown folks. When you went out, you should have said, oh no, I'm paying for me, my girl. Y'all can pay for y'all so. That would have set the motion all the way through because they would be like, oh, oh, okay. Even though they'll complain, they'll yap about it, but still they'll get that they can pull a fast one over you. That's the problem. Y'all just let people slide with this stuff. And then like, once you get aggravated, then all of a sudden you wanna, all right. Okay, asked my girlfriend to let her stay at our apartment. I was not on board with this and I even wondered this is not a good idea. Okay, so you did say something, but it's my girlfriend's apartment too. She assured me nothing would happen. I reluctantly agree. So after eight days of blissful vacation, we came back to our apartment and guess what? It's totally trash. The walls were scribbled with pen, toilet was smelly as H, eat duck a hot, double hockey sticks, kitchen was disgusting, like all food wrappers were everywhere. They trashed the apartment in two days. Less to say I was beyond pissed, as you should be. I left my bags into my closet and told my girlfriend she had to clean this ish up by herself and left. After I was in the bar, I got text from my girlfriend Bethany saying I was rude to my girlfriend and go back and help her. I just told her mind her business. She said I'm acting like a jerk. So am I a jerk? In this situation okay this is what it says whoa so many and it's an edit whoa so many responses i just want to update on the situation i went back to our apartment after two hours and my girlfriend was in the middle of having a serious talk with her sis boyfriend also their parents were involved too i think her mother was really angry at her sister and said pretty hard stuff like get your stuff together or they would cut contact with her and etc after that apartment was half clean so i started cleaning with her and apologized for my outburst but not for my initial stand i still think it's partially her responsibility she also apologized to me on behalf of her sister and her boyfriend we will have one last Let's talk about our boundaries. I think we will overcome this issue with no problem. Okay, okay, I like this. I like this. I like this, and I and I also 
even though the way you outbursted her was like a little bit too much, but I understand why, because you've already previously warned her. So I can't 100% say that you were at fault. But to me, both y'all were at fault. You for not standing up for yourself in the first half of the whole thing, like when they would have you pay for everything. I would have said, no, this is just for me and my girlfriend. But I'm glad the parents have a good head on their shoulders because a lot of these writers we read, it's like the parents have favoritism. But I'm glad the parents have a good head on their shoulders. Like, hey, yo, you need to get your stuff together. This is not no else's responsibility to help raise you even though you full on grown. Like, we, we don't need, we don't have time for other people to have to tell us that you can't clean up after yourself. My thing is, what in the world were you doing to where you trashed the whole place in two days? How can you trash an entire place in two days? That is that is beyond me. Like, you legit went out of your way knowing that your sister and your her boyfriend is going to have to lay her head. I think they're generally envious, in all honesty. Because ain't no way I'm going to look at my sister's place and immediately start trashing it. Because currently, I live in a place where I have to clean. Me and mom locked in. So that's the thing. And never once, what in the world? It's some sauce, don't mind that. It's some sauce underneath right now. Anyway, um, when we, like whoever I live with, I am going to make sure that I clean up my area after myself. And if they cook, I'm cleaning. It's, there's no arguments with that. Like, what is wrong with that lady that where she feels like she can just trash people's places and no one's going to have anything to say to her? Y'all better be glad y'all y'all parents got into, <laughs> her parents got to her. Because knowing, reading that, if I was him, I would have been living and still living, coming back black. Yeah, you need to get your stuff together and you're never going to be able to come back to my house again. You will never, ever, ever in your life will be stepping foot in my area, in my space because you disrespected my home. Not only did you disrespect my home, you disrespected me with trying to make me pay for everything and pull a fast one over me. So I want no contact with you. You can have contact with your sister, that's out of my control, y'all are family, but I want nothing to do with you. But I see that y'all can... um. I see that y'all could take responsibility. To me, it's not really the sister's fault. I mean, the girlfriend's fault and then your girlfriend's fault that her sister would do something, even though you did warn her. And to me, I do love that you told the best friend to stay out of it. Because my thing is, there's a lot of times where the best friend will say stuff and they'll be like, oh, well, you did it, did it, and I'm pretty sure she's like, hey, I kind of felt hurt by that. And your best friend, the best friend didn't even listen to the rest of the story because I'm pretty sure about the way you say she said it. The best friend's like, okay, my friend's over considerate. I know how she is. And you're going to go off on her because she sincerely was trying to help out her sister in a time of need. But in the same breath, you warned her. You said, hey, yo, your family ain't nothing that we want to deal with in all honesty. So if you... If you want to do that, then that's cool. But uh, overall, I want no, no places with that. So, really, in all honesty, I can't really say much or nothing. I can't really say that um, he's not the a-hole, in my opinion. He's not, because he set clear boundaries. He let his sister know. Well, his girlfriend know. He let his girlfriend know. He let. He set a boundary with the best friend. And overall, I like how I like the ending of this. I like the ending of this because the sister and the boyfriend were totally taking advantage of the whole situation. Most definitely. There's no other possible way they couldn't have been. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all feel like in the comments. Sorry, my glasses are crooked. Um, comment, subscribe, like, turn your post notifications on so you know whenever we're posting. And yeah, let, let me know what you think because I don't think he's an a-hole. Anyway, ta-da!